Hello everyone, welcome back to Neuchenezer. Let's continue the campaign. So this is gonna be the final mission on this map. Okay, I need to conquer three more cities to build the temple. Let's see how much big of an army I will need to conquer those three cities. I'm already stretched a bit thin on that in that regard. Resources wise. My king, the negotiators for Sipar have just returned. Negotiations have gone very well, and the city leaders believe you are a better ruler than Marduk Aplaidin. They are willing to join you. In addition, they also believe other cities and tribes may see it the same way. Excellent. It's a good time to give our negotiators some help. The presence of my troops in Babylonia will certainly persuade some cities to be more inclined to a treaty. And for the cities that hold out, I'll convince them in person. I'm not sure an open attack on Babylonia would help us, my lord. Certainly not if the local leaders see it merely as a land grab. Babylonia has always prided itself on its culture, and most importantly, its independence. You're right, and that's exactly what we'll use. Let it be declared that I had a vision in which I was addressed by Marduk himself, the god of Babylonia. He asked me to liberate his lands from the treacherous Marduk Apla Adina, and as a God-fearing man, I have no choice but to obey his wishes. Do you think they will believe you? Maybe, but that's not important. The important thing is that it gives everyone who doesn't like the rule of Marduk Apla Adina a reason to join me in uniting Babylonia. Wait for the army to armies to return and then reassess. Nothing of bread. Yeah, that's becoming a problem here. Can't afford to lose. Somewhere else either. Damn. Okay, let's fix this problem first. That should fix the food problem here. I need 
to wait for these ones to recover their morale and everything. Fixed. Solve there. Level four. Oh, not bad. Level four as well. Now let's check the traitors here. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Six thousand. The heck? This is not a bug. Fuck me. Ooh, I'm gonna need huge armies. Way bigger than I have now. Way, way bigger. Ridiculously big. I need me middle class. I don't know if that's a bug or intentional, but it's huge armies. More officers. Yeah. I need much bigger city than this one. System manner. Start the work on the temple now. The only question is where to put it.
this is a good place as any. for this one to conquer at least one of those cities but uh, it's gonna be pain in the ass said I need more middle class and that has its own problems all of our clothes they have long ass chains Don't know how willing I am to fulfill those. The fish is not being expedited here as fast as I want it. company or two to expand even further. some equilibrium so it's fine yeah not enough I can be more chariots so but that's a good thing here I will try to expand on these neighborhoods and 
bring some copper jewelry. Faster. This one for size. Yeah, I was feeling that. We also need a priest. See how many people I'm missing. Is this something bad from critical areas? Need more peasants. That's a bit of a problem. Well, I could upgrade this area if I can manage to bring pottery here. Somehow. Cover 
the southern neighborhood. people that brings I need water as well yeah okay, forgot about it I forgot about that too lonely house there equilibrium here. I can make more heavy infantry. Let's see. Are enough coming in? Slowly, but uh, there's no hurry. I can put one more. Yep, after that, I'll be out of rich people. it It. 
Let's see if I can conquer at least the lower cities because Babylon is gonna take a ridiculously huge army. the weapons to be more consistent. That's a little better. deficit I have will be fixed. Need more peasants, but right now it's not critical. everything. Yep. Start integration. Yes, please.
what is the issue? This is the weapon supplier. Need another warehouse, basically. Within the vicinity. That only accepts weapons. Troops that I can have without increasing the rich neighborhood, without adding more aristocracy. I need more peasants as well. I need more, more, more. This one is coming along very slowly. It's the problem again. Kidding me? I just added more production. Try to take this one off. He's by far the weakest. Okay, Babylon, I don't need to take Babylon. I don't know if we have enough armies. Then beha being behind the wall, it's uh, problematic for me. Just do a save and uh, see what I can do. Or if I need more, maybe I need more troops. See what happens. I don't need to take Babylon, which is who they have a massive army.
Sargon, King of the Universe. I write to you as a representative of the priests of Babylon. We agree with you that it's a necessity to remove Marduk Apla Idin as the ruler of Babylonia. All the more so if Marduk himself has expressed such a wish. We want to make a deal with you. I'm listening. We are willing to hand Babylon over to you completely without a fight, with the gates open. Okay, that sounds uh, way too nice to be true. We demand, however, that Marduk Aplaidin be completely removed, and that the city be in no danger. We also demand that the city be spared any looting, and that we retain our priestly positions. That won't be a problem. I will not interfere in the city's operations. But as Marduk is my witness, if you betray me and fail to keep your promises, you will face my wrath. And as I'm sure you know, no gates can stop that. We stand by our promises. But know that if you betray us, Babylon will never bow to you and will be a constant problem for your empire. Remember, the people of Babylon and all of Babylonia will always be on our side. Yep, start integration. Yeah, that one got destroyed. And this one as well. We'll need more troops for the other cities, which is going to be a bit problematic, probably. Can only put in more archers. I'm already lacking people here. So the other two cities are messed up. Yeah, I don't have the people to put more here. Damn it. Yeah, I need more peasants. The only question is where should I put them? Probably somewhere around here. Nice farms. Now oh, let's get on with it. Nice uh, market here. Problems somewhere else, not as far as I can see.
this one will do it. for it. Finally. <laughs> Hope that will do it. I missed this one by a little bit. Don't like the extra space here. But this is the only affected area, so I can live with that. take a while for this head to stabilize where was the big fire problem it was very red somewhere I like this one alleviate the problem.
Maybe this one has a short range, like not doing anything. Wood is plentiful. What I lack is the rich people. Not enough jewelry is really. Yeah. That's a bit of a problem. that reach my limits here. I don't have enough to take the other cities down. They have bigger armies, but uh, not by a whole lot. Need to include the neighborhood here. Add a few more rich people, aristocrats. So I can increase the size of my armies. Heavy infantry minus 192. Seriously. Yeah, not enough fish. Maybe this one will help a little bit. Just a smidge. I can create more fishing stuff here, which I probably will. Whatever issue it there is, it crap on more fish. Take a while for equilibrium to be reached. The 
fishing areas here are too small. Let's make more. Stabilize now. Need to increase production here and import so I can increase the aristocrat area. So I can have more armies. I can build some more horsemen and chariots and more archers. But that's for next time. Okay, that's about it for today. If you like what you saw, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.